I can spend that scrap money on a new tire. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. The big one. So I've got all this heavy steel sprinkler pipe. I wanted to make some tables out of it, but I let it get all rusty. So I'm gonna take that back today. And then a bunch of aluminum and this cast iron. So this sprinkler pipe, because it's thick enough, will get more than shred steel. Probably more like 11 cents a pound instead of six cents a pound. And just gotta clean up all the wire in the truck. The wire I save and it gets like 35 cents a pound. I gotta, just gotta clip the ends off. Yeah, once I have 250 pounds of wire, They'll give me 10% more. So I got this one almost full. I've got a 90 gallon uh, crate over there completely full. So this stuff is all longer than four feet. So that'll go in the shred pile. I could cut it up, but it's really just not worth my time. Uh, I have been saving the bed frames for some upcycling projects, but I'm just haven't gotten to them. And I got to make some room here. Time to clean up. Yeah, nobody was buying these. I need to make room. Luckily, it's metal, so I can still scrap it. I think we'll walk away with at least 100 bucks here. All right, let's go to the scrapyard. Well, since we're on our way to the scrapyard, might as well grab anything we see. We're gonna do it in three runs. Well, first, we're gonna drop shred steel. That is this microwave, the microwave, the thin metal stuff, anything that's over four feet. Then we're gonna drop our heavy steel which is anything that's over an eighth inch thick and less than four feet long. And then we're going to the scale house to turn in some Romex wire and a bunch of aluminum. It'll be the second thousand plus pound drop in our F-150 Lightning here. All right, let's go get paid. So they're having me drop the shred seal in this dozer bucket. Dude, look at those bolts. I'd kill for those bolts. All right, we got a big 30 yard roll off here. Oh damn, yeah. Yeah, these are the cutoffs from like metal wall studs. These are the commercial ones. They're actually pretty thick. take this huge stuff but I'm right next to the scrapyard so I'm just gonna head right over there a big old chunk Let's go make a quick buck. Alright, we're 
we're gonna take this aluminum to the uh, scale house. It's a fucking tire. First time ever at the scrapyard. Of course, it's with my fucking new truck. Oh yeah, it's a big one. I can spend that scrap money on a new tire. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, let's get this changed out. All right, well, might as well learn how to use this, right? 90,000 miles on my Toyota Tacoma and probably three, 400 trips to the scrapyard. I never got a flat, ever. And now on my fifth trip to the scrapyard here, we got our first flat. That's some karma right there. At least it comes with like a full-size spare. Just gotta put the thing together, get it in there. I mean, these were not on very tight. I don't think I've ever actually changed a spare tire. All right. Oh yeah. I don't even know if that's gonna be repairable. It sucks, because these are brand new tires. Now my wheels aren't gonna match. Those nice clean brake rotors. I'm not much of a car guy. I know you gotta put them in like crisscross fashion. Get them all hand tight first, then we'll snug them up. Actually, a lot easier than I thought it would be. All right, they're all snug. I'm gonna let her down, then we'll do a last tightening run while the wheel's not freaking spinning. All right, easy enough. We're good as new here. Tires uh, tires don't match anymore, but oh well. I still got some aluminum to turn in. Gotta pay for this tire patch. So we made 28 dollars. Uh, made a million dollars. So we made $38 on that second scrap drop, half for the shred steel, half for the aluminum. And regarding the tire, the scrap hair is actually gonna be covering the cost of repair or replacement. I've been going there for over six years now. I probably had 600 scrap drops under my belt and they're a real stand-up company. So I'm really thankful that they're covering that. And anybody saying that it's crazy to bring like a new truck to a scrapyard, out of 600 drops in the last six years, this is the first flat I've ever gotten. So they actually keep their yard pretty clean. But $121 on the day, that's, that's pretty good. So uh, thanks for watching.